Hello. Hey, Christina. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm very well. I, I'm jealous of your amazingly looking location, I have to say. <laughs> Um, but oh no, I'm, I'm pretty good. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining. Um, oh yeah, thanks for having me. This is so fun. Um, do you, I mean, you can stop. I mean, I would usually ask people to to introduce themselves, which I will do for you as well. But also your location as well, because this is a, it's a special location this time, right? It is. I come to you live from the MVP Summit, where no nice. secrets will be spilled on this <laughs> podcast. But that is where I'm at. So I'm at the Microsoft campus in Redmond. Um, yes, Donald, you are 100% correct. <laughs> so this is the reactor building. Um, I don't know too much about all the new things on campus, but it's a pretty nice area. Got a little patio out back, so I figured I would just stop over here okay. and, and pop on. Yeah. Love it. Hey, Jack. It's good to see some SML folks in the chat. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm always impressed with the, with, with the SML crew. They, 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 they come in numbers. The, they the, do. The solidarity is very impressive, I've got to say. <laughs> You know, it's hard when you it's hard to find a group of such dedicated data nerds. And when you find them, you just got to support each other, you know, Definitely. exactly. Nerds yeah. unite and all that, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, how about yourself? A um, bit of who are you and a bit of your background and then we can just start. I mean, you know, it's, it's yeah. DL as you want. It's up to you, you know. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Christina Ferris used to be Hughes, just got married a few months ago. So okay. yeah, if uh, if anyone is knows me by the other name, still the same person. Um, I started out my career, actually, I was an anthropology major. So my first job was actually cool. working at a mammoth dig site and then decided I didn't want to do more grad school. So um, ended up through chain of events, getting into IT via logistics. So that's kind of my background there, but not bad at all. I was um, about your your name actually. That was quite. I didn't know that you recently changed your name. Um, <laughs> but when that came, when I, when I saw your name, I was like, you know, Christina should really do some kind of podcast or work with Kurt from Data Goblins because then you could be Ferris Bueller. Oh my gosh, you're a genius. That would be amazing. I would say not genius, but um, a lover of bad puns. But I'll take genius. This, this is fine for me as well. A pun genius? There's got to be a pun with genius as well. <laughs> it has to do with animals, you know? Like, I mean, but... even for me, I was saying to, um, to, to, to Kurt at some point, can me and you do something together? So it's, at least it's, it's very Bueller. Yeah. But oh my you've, gosh. You've, you've topped that with Ferris. So come on. I mean, this is just. <laughs> I'll thank no, my husband. I'll be like, thank you yeah, for helping. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step back from my proposal and allow you to step in place because your name is even more perfect than mine. So I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's only fair, right? You know, I, I think we could do a fairy Ferris Bueller. Fairy Ferris Bueller, yeah, could be. I don't see why not. Maybe right. we need a fourth person whose name is also kind of like Bueller. Probably. Just to kind yeah. of get it going, we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually to get this perfect combination. We'll find them. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. We'll go hunting. Are you going to sequel bits? Maybe we can be on the prowl. You know, I, um, I, if I was going, I would definitely do that. But unfortunately, not this year. My my schedule was a little bit too busy that time. So, oh, totally. That's some other point. I know. It's, we'll yeah. get there. We'll get there. Anyway, how's how, how, how's the how's the MVP MVP summit? Is it called? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the summit. So it is. I mean, it's packed. So it's one of those things where my my brain is melted yeah, okay. you know yeah, yeah. but it's awesome there's so many great people here nice. you can't really be we've had awesome weather for seattle like it is bright sunny day out cool um so yeah i, mean, I can't be too mad at that my knowledge of seattle weather i get only from fraser which hasn't been on the, oh. on the earth i guess for like 20 years but i get from that <laughs> it rains a lot i think is what i've established it only yeah. rained one day i've been here but i've only been here three days so i guess wait where, where you rain one day, usually Kentucky. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. And I just moved there a couple of years ago from Minnesota. Mm. So Donald's asking if there are any caribou coffee shops. It's, that's uh, one of my first jobs. I loved working at caribou. So every time I can find one of those. Is know. that like is that like a, a Minnesota coffee place? Is that its speciality? Yeah. See, it's funny that you mentioned Minnesota because when you said you were living in Kentucky, I had one of those moments where I thought to myself. Like, okay, good for the people to know that. For me, why do I ask that? I don't know where Kentucky is, but <laughs> I do know where Minnesota is. 
And if I'm going to, if I'm, I've mentioned this before on the stream, but I'll, if I'm going to stay in the theme of TV shows, I mean, most Europeans who have never really been in the US, all of our knowledge of the US comes from like, you know, media TV shows. So of course, yeah. that I know from How I Met Your Mother. Oh, yes. I thought you were going to say Fargo and I was going to be a little disappointed, but no, no, I yes, got... How I Met Your Mother is perfect. Yes. And, and the only, and I know there's this thing where it's like a Minnesota it's like yeah. not Minnesota, Minnesota. <laughs> this is this is sort of like Minnesota, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So um I, I tend not to talk much about what happens in these places because I could literally only reference TV shows and it just it <laughs> it, it, it does not it basically looks like I watch too much Netflix, which is true. Oh, but yeah. I like to try and hire this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. To try to come across as a more intelligent individual. Oh, you know, it's a good effort. You got to try it. I try my best, right? I try my best. Yeah, my best. yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah. I love the, I love the, way, the way you you've been. I like this 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 activity in the background. By the way, someone just comes in and says, "That nah, is cool. I like it." You should, should be, <laughs> I, I feel like I should have more moving things in my background. Kind of like like Home Alone, where <laughs> there's people actually, moving. On. It was pre-recorded. I don't know if you can catch <laughs> that, but it's gonna happen again on a loop. So pre yeah, pre pre-recorded like uh, like uh, like a demo, for example. Yeah, sure exactly. Yeah, I'm timing oh this conversation God. very well because mine's not pre-recorded, but yours is. So this is it's it's the timing's are good thus far. Where's Texas at the bottom? Texas is big <laughs> and it's at the bottom. Yeah, to a year. Texas is is easy enough, you know. Yeah. Kentucky, if you've so something that they do in the states to help little kids learn all the states mm -hmm. is they say it's like a chef, right? In the middle of the country, there's a chef with a hat, which is Minnesota. It's got a plate, which is Tennessee, and on it, Kentucky literally looks like a drumstick. So that's Kentucky. I like it. That makes yeah. sense. I used to yeah. think when people refer to like the panhandle, it's something, oh. right? So I used to think, and the panhandle, like this whole Florida thing, I'm not sure. I used yeah. to think that Florida was the handle and all of the US was the pan <laughs> because it kind of yeah. has that. It's true. It's in the corner. Yeah, know? it's like I thought it was saying about the panhandle. Okay, that's Florida. It's because it's the panhandle. It's the handle of the entire pan. The pan <laughs> being all of the U.S. It makes sense to me. And yeah. then I worked out I was wrong, and I was devastated because I still think my idea is better, to be honest. But <laughs> it probably is. That's yeah. why they couldn't go with it. You know, yeah. they're yeah. like, oh, no, no. My, my my idea was too powerful for them. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Without being without being kicked off the MVP team for revealing NDA information, I is just got on the team. Then are you just you new? In that case, congratulations! Two months, that's fantastic. Two months. Yeah, thank oh, you. Amazing. Yeah, very yeah, cool. But I'm not, I'm not risking it. But no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Question. Just generally, like, what, what's going on? Do you like have sessions and stuff? Of course, without content, yeah. just you know, like, yeah, you, know, you have sessions and you get like fed information and have you pointed it is to a your, lot of sessions. Have you pointed to your name on the sign? Have you taken the yes. photograph? Yeah, of course you got there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and so because I'm new, um, they actually, they had a sign up and it didn't have anyone who was like in the last two months or something. So they, they brought a new one out so I could point to it, which was very sweet of them. That is just for nice me, enough. nobody yeah. else. You just know. exactly. Just, but, you know, <laughs> Christine, Christine is here. Bring, <laughs> bring, bring, bring up this sign. <laughs> exactly. I was like, oh, thanks guys. You know, it's so special. <laughs> <laughs> Plus. So what, but no, what... it's a lot of like you get up, you know, you go to the sessions, and then mm. we've got a planner, you know, so you can pick which ones you want to go to. Makes sense. Like Lots of different MVP categories, mm. so you kind of pick. You know, you don't have to stick in your category, which is kind of nice. What what's your um, category? Data platform. Okay, so like Power BI, Fabric, all that good stuff. If I'd done any research before this live stream, I would have known that. I'm totally revealing the fact that I'm just completely winging it here. I apologize oh, for that. And you just. Play it off like it's for the audience, you know. Yeah. Like, I, if I ask this question, then they they know now, you yeah, know. Completely, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's slip that. I'll, I'll try better next time. It's all planned, right? <laughs> just gotta, it's just confidence. That's Absolutely. it, you know. Absolutely. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, I love it. I love it. this. I love this from the, this one. The first one they had in my name either. I was talking a little bit, which is reasonable. I was talking a bit, and they went and fixed it. That's nice of them, though. That's really cool. It was so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you don't really know what to expect, like, when they print these things out, how much it costs to print them, when they're going to put them out. So it's just, like, it was nice that they mm. redid it. So I appreciate mm. that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But there's been good time. So they, they spread things out enough. It's not like a typical conference where you have 10 minutes between each session. Mm. So you're kind of, like, 
just going. Um, there's about like 30 minutes between each one. So you get okay, enough time to nice. grab a snack or like drinks or, you know, talk to people, whatever mm. you got to do, move buildings. So, but it's the new campus. And so nobody really knows okay. where anything is at. So yeah. that's also been kind of fun. Yeah, that's cool. But is it, is yeah. it, I guess it's pretty big, right? It's like quite a. Yeah, pretty big. Yeah. It's so it's, um, it's still walkable, which is nice. I was a little worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jack. They yeah, can afford it. Right. I was thinking that as well. I was, it is nice to, to do that for sure. But yeah. I'm sure Microsoft have, have access to a pretty nice printer and stuff. So it should be okay, right? Yeah. You'd hope. Yeah. Right. Uh, you would hope. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> you never know, though. I, I've always been astonished sometimes by what big companies spend their money on. Oh, yeah. So I'm always like very grateful when that money comes like toward people instead of toward other things. So Absolutely. I'm always down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's true. The, yeah. the, are the sessions, are they given by like fellow MVPs or is it like also like by the Microsoft people or whatever? Microsoft product team. So product the team, nice thing about it. Yeah, no, so you're before. good. Microsoft people. <laughs> <laughs> they do the things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's pretty nice because you actually get to meet who is in charge of these things too. So it's like, especially being so new, I feel like people just know these things. They just know who to talk to about things. Mm. And I'm like, well, I don't know. So mm. it's been good from that perspective, even like the ones. So they've done something where you can go virtually as well. And so you oh, can actually cool. save things. So I'm going to go back and watch some that were at the same time as the ones that I was attending. That's it's awesome. kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's and then I'm going to write down all the emails, you know, who do I talk to about what so. makes sense. Yeah. No, it's yeah. at conferences. It's very frustrating when the lineup at one particular time is very good and you got to choose between one and you just can't, <gasps> it's, I hate that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Especially when it's not recorded, you know, and I get it. I, right. I've run like a conference before and it's really hard to set that up sometimes, but mm man and yes yeah. yes you're so right so many different teams but yeah it's ah, yeah exactly so, yeah, yeah. So different teams too sometimes they talk to the mvps oh. and they seem to know the whole right? so all shot yeah well so they'll know it from the last 20 years like there is that yeah yeah sometimes but i think also obviously people just are better at remembering certain things what i find astonishing is that like i i can work for a company and it doesn't matter how long i work for that company like it's so hard for me to know like who's like <laughs> I might remember CEO, but like, and like my direct boss, but other than that, I just don't. Maybe my boss. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's apathy. I just, yeah. Like, I, I don't really you don't care. have to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Unless it really directly impacts my job or I'm working on a project with them or for yeah. them. I don't, I don't, that's no disrespect intended, but I just have to get more important things to worry about. You know what I mean? It's so true. Well, like when I used to be in BI for a company, like not a consultant, when I was mm. just at a company, I did know everybody because I had to know how quickly I needed to reply to their email. You know, mm. like, are they, do they need to come before these other people or, you know, like, do I need to run something up the chain? You know, but, yeah, I got it. but now as, as a consultant, I, I'm, yeah, just I barely it. know the org chart, but yeah. I think, when I, the first time I was working like an office job in Germany, the first office job was in um, in Melbourne, but in Germany, I was working for this, like it was like a, a re electric reseller. They sold loads of different random stuff. Oh. And, um, the the head office was um, based in the UK. And so the boss, the boss team, the C-level team came over. And I was like, you know, just do my thing and do my job. And of course, being polite, stood up to shake the hand and whatever, like you do, oh, yeah. you know, like a nice person. And yeah. I stood up, turned around, they introduced themselves. I went just to shake someone's hand and I shook the hand. And the, so the person whose hand I was shaking was like, oh, you should have shaken his hand first because he's like the CEO and I'm the CFO. And I'm like, wow, if you care about that, that's just like, oh. can you imagine caring about something so unimportant, like the order in which you imagine. shake a hand? It no, was so I mean, it's not your graduation ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time you really gotta care, and that's because they're all lined up, and it would be awkward if you yeah, went to, out like, of order. Skip you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I'm like, back in a second, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't yeah, imagine it's... doing that. So... But no, I mean, yeah, that's ridiculous. Like, especially, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. Even if it was the CEO's assistant and the CEO, like. Yeah. You're gonna shake both their hands. Who it's cares? just the, the person, who, as, as you said, the graduation. It's just the person who's nearer to you. Anything else is just so like, 
It's yeah. weird. Imagine ask, oh, thank you for introducing yourselves. Can you please tell me which order shall I now shake your hands? Oh my gosh, I can't imagine. Yeah. Anyway. Well, and I can't imagine what would prompt him to say that, you know, because now it's awkward. Like it's different if like you did it and he's like offended somehow, but him being offended on behalf of the other guy and <laughs> right, then calling it out yeah. is so awkward. <laughs> but, Very true. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Special company, special times. Anyway, back to you and data and power BI and whatnot. I can get random pretty <laughs> quickly, don't worry. I know, uh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> It's the most fun like part of about these chats, to be honest. Yeah. But at some point, I promise we'll get to data and Power BI and stuff, just to just to say we've touched those points. Let's do it now, just for the sake of argument. Oh, what's okay. the, you said you're a consultant, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like, you, I, I, so what's your like your day to day? What does it look like? What's your what do you yeah. enjoy? What, and also, what do you enjoy most? What do you think of your? What's part of your job that you think is most fun? I'm just curious. So I actually just switched teams. So I was on a, um, we call it professional services team where you're on one client and you're mm -hmm. on that client for like the length of a contract. You're there to do okay. one job for them and that's it. Mm -hmm. I moved to another side of the house, which is more managed data. And so that okay. one is, I've got five clients of my own. Mm -hmm. And so I help them with whatever they need. So sometimes it's a project, sometimes it's ad hoc resource that they need help with. Sometimes it's Power that's BI, nice. sometimes yeah. it's a Power App, sometimes it's database. Oh, wow, that's so, interesting. Yeah, really you have to learn around. a lot more that way, which is Definitely. Kind of awesome. That's that's fun. It's a really, I mean, I, that's a, one second, I'm distracted. Watch rolling out in the background there. I know. If, it, <laughs> I if, know. if it's something with an NDA, just, I mean, no. just switch up <laughs> your camera straight away, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, Oh, I actually even brought my own camera because I was like, my laptop camera is not very good. So I yeah, like, I do that yeah. sometimes as well. I, when yeah. I was in uh, a, con uh, a meeting on my team down in Frankfurt, I was like, I'm not using my laptop camera. It's not good enough. No. Um, not like I'm a snob or anything, but I'm like, no, it's not good enough for me. I demand higher standards. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, about? you're good. No, um, definitely. It's, it's not NDA. So we're, we're still in the clear. You know, no one's coming out to tackle me. It looks um, like, looks like so. sandwiches, to be honest. But I'm, it, is. Was, it is sandwiches. There you go. Yeah, it was lunch. So I got my box earlier. I have cookie waiting for me for later. Nice, nice. I can't, by the way, just I know I'm just jumping on a different subject now. Thank you very much for taking your time out during the MVP <laughs> conference. That's no problem. To do a live stream with me. Skip the session, but just come and do this. That, that's, that's very kind of you, to, to be honest. So I love these kind of things. And it's honestly, it's a nice break. It is. Enough, like, yeah. yeah. It can, yeah. There's something to be said for like three days of straight learning about stuff you can't actually talk to anyone about that just like sits in your brain. It just yeah. like stays there and just yeah. like consumes all of my CPU. And I'm like, I just need, need to it's walk tough. away for a little bit. Yeah. I, yeah. I think the the most I've been at a, a conference for was like two two solid days. I could be wrong. But mm -hmm. I think two, and then after, I can imagine a third day is... It's Brutal. great, all the people, all the socializing, yeah. but to take a time out and just say, okay, I'm going to skip all sessions here just to sit for myself and um, relax a little bit. one session, are you kidding me? You know, yeah. I think it's one section. One session, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I saw Kratos was also live streaming. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. believe it. I saw him pop up and I was like, oh my gosh, Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought it would have, to have some kind of rule where you have to put on some kind of like black background, you know? Well, I think the rule is don't don't spill the NDA. Like that's a fair the rule. Sessions, they've got big things on every single every single session starts with a slide and it says no photography, no cameras, no nothing. Which like is, you can take notes, but you can't. Yeah. You can't even take a picture of the slide. You know. So this, this is a good time for this question. Are all the presentations based on material you can't talk about? Correct. Wow. Yep. Damn. Yep. Which is. It's good and good and stressful. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's it's just good. <laughs> but it's uh, it's one of those things where it's like, even if someone did talk about it, it doesn't matter mm. because it's not here yet. You know, yeah, like, yeah. so but it's that's... like, why would you bring it up at all? Because it's not practical yet. You know, so. it doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, but that's yeah. the part that I've, that I'm always confused about. How do you know when you can talk about something? Do they like mm. send you an email and say, oh, by the way, this one's 
You just gotta work it out for yourself. Basically. There's some, uh, some Microsoft will do the release blogs, you know. Yeah. So okay. as soon yeah. as that comes out, you know, you can talk about it. Yeah. And they usually announce things at the big conferences. So like Ignite, Build, um, the Fabric Conference. Like anytime Microsoft puts on a conference, just assume a bunch of stuff is going public preview, and then we can check out and see like, Makes hey, sense. is this thing that they talked about with us in that list? Then it's like, mm. yeah, okay, now I can talk about it. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I think they do. <laughs> it reminds I, I me. I paid attention. <laughs> now, the reference I'm going to use is you're going to understand like how long ago this actually was. Back in the day when I used to watch the X Files, so 90s, right? I'm talking about oh, 90s. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure if you were born then, but 90s. I was. Uh, you're okay, safe. You're enough. safe with me. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Um, I remember saying that sometimes the scripts were so secretive, they would print them using a certain color ink so they couldn't be photocopied. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they were like, maybe like, I think it was like red ink or something, which was like photocopy proof. Like this is the technology we're talking Whoa. about back then, photocopying right. and stuff. That's how you'd break that, the NDA. So maybe they do the <laughs> same as slides, like some kind of special thing that you point your camera at it and it just like mm. disappears. Like the anti-paparazzi dresses that some of the celebrities wear, you know? I don't know. I do not know. What Have is you that? Heard that? Yeah. Oh, it's like a thing. I can't remember who did it, but one of those like big celebrities, it might've been Lady Gaga or someone, mm -hmm. basically wore a dress. And anytime the paparazzi tried to take a picture, it basically ended up whiting out her face. It's like you couldn't, it wasn't a usable picture. That's amazing. That's a yeah. really cool idea. Yes, yeah. so slides like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know how that would work, but wow, I think crazy. they just kick you out, you know? And it's, it's a fun enough thing to be part of that no one wants to get kicked out. Yeah, so. of course. It's not like people are gonna be like, they can get the camera and taking photographs. Oops, one second. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. We are not always just data vintage people. Exactly. Oh, like it's that. so true. Yeah. Vintage. Yeah. Oh, and I was looking at the other one that um, he's posting. Which one from Power BI Park? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was saying it. Yeah, he was saying it. Um, which was really funny because sometimes Power BI downloads get released <laughs> before the blog. So, yeah. <laughs> that's class. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty great. See, all these things you have to consider. No. But you better safe it. than sorry you know that's kind of, of course, my motto of course so. so what i was going to say before the sandwiches oh. appeared yes i think i can remember <laughs> it i'm very bad at going back over conversations you were talking about you had a job and your job was basically very diverse and what you had to do sometimes power yeah. bi sometimes power apps so yeah that was did you um how is your how is your in that regard i mean are you as good at power apps as you are power bi and are you as good oh. at uh, um power automate is what's Question. yeah i would say after so i've been on a certain client for about four months now mm -hmm. and they are very heavy power apps okay. or power automate as well mm -hmm. and so power automate i would say i am at the point where i'm confident enough to say yeah i'm almost as good at this as i am with power bi cool power bi is hard because i've hacked into it in a few different ways so like I've learned like the C sharp backend, the tabular namespace, how to interact with the REST APIs using Python. Mm. And I haven't done any of that with Power Automate. Mm, okay. So that's where I'm like, yeah, I feel like I can do almost anything I want to do in Power Automate, but mm. actually yeah, hacking nice. into it is not something I have experience with yet. I get it. So like you, you know it well, but like to say, oh, I can do like these things that people don't know about and it kind of forced it to do things against its will that it does anyway. Yeah. 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 I like well, it. And I think Power Automate is one of those weird things where if you know something else really well, you can mm. leverage that inside of Power Automate to do something it's not supposed to do. Yeah. Like you can build um, Excel scripts to do some ETL on Excel data. Mm. And okay. if you know how to write those, Power Automate can call it and it becomes your orchestrator. And it can do a lot more that way. Cool. But, yeah. I, I I have my power automate is okay. That's all I'd say. It is. <laughs> I get frustrated how I and I sometimes do you want to have a situation like is it power automate or is it is it insert tool or is it me? And yes. I find sometimes I don't understand why power automate sometimes just fails. Like it just it fails all the time. All the time, Ben. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good. Yeah, you are not it. it's not it's not just you. I I have had to rebuild entire flows before because Microsoft will make an update to one component and I'll have an old flow that I go in and make an edit on mm -hmm. and somehow editing the old flow breaks it from whatever it had stored, like some kind of cache of old code. Mm -hmm. And now I have to go and add in the new connector on whatever got updated. 
Yes. And it is a nightmare to troubleshoot. So it is not mm. just you. Okay, yeah. that, that's good. No, see, so coming from a person who knows it well, that means a lot to me. <laughs> well enough, you know, like. Well enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, again, it's hard. It's hard to be like, yeah, I'm a pro. But I don't <laughs> think I could ever say I'm a pro at anything, you know? I, you know what? I was just going to say that. I love yeah. that you said that. And honestly, yeah. <laughs> 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 there was like a secret thing that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's it's why so I don't good. present on Power Automate, though. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I honestly think some of the, the best things that I enjoy is when it's just honest content, though. Not like, oh, oh my God, this yeah. is amazing, the future of everything, and it's so good. Like, this is a good yeah. tool, but sometimes it's really annoying. Like, that to me is is, is the more realistic tone. Yeah, I, you're much, right. I don't know. It could be just my... I should do mm -hmm. it. I, well, and the thing is, like, I figured out a couple things on there. Mm -hmm. And I, anytime I figure something out, I have what's called, I call it my little book of measures. And it's a blog post that is about six years in the making. And mm -hmm. all it is is little snippets of code from things I've learned. So wow. I need to start using like some that. of my Power Automate ones as blog posts. Interesting that you mentioned that because today I realized when I'm, especially when I'm doing stuff with like Vega Light for Denev, you know? Mm -hmm. What I'll yeah. do is, of course, when you create your own visuals, you're essentially creating your own, you know, code base and like a library. But it's I'm so like hit and miss of how, how I'll store this stuff. Like today I need oh. something. I was like, oh, I know where did where have I got this? Oh, I know. I sent that to, do you know, um, um, I forget how to pronounce his name, Sam Seiko, who also is a, um, he works on the Tableau side. He's a Tableau. Um, yeah. Is he in Nashville? I think, yeah, I think he is. Yeah, I so, just saw him at Datatune, like, so last I, weekend. I sent him, like, code, like, six months ago for, for Vega Light, And that's the only place I have it stored, in my Twitter oh, DMs. No. So I go to his DMs, like, oh, there is copy and paste it. But I know me. I'm not going to write it anywhere else because I know where to find it now. This is just... <laughs> It's, it's ridiculous. See, and that terrifies me, that exact problem. Because yeah. I will be, be banging my head against the wall, being like, I figured this out three months ago. And I wrote it nowhere. <sighs> Like, yeah. what was I thinking, you know? Yeah. It's so, I had a, a similar thing happen. Uh, I, I contacted an ex-colleague about a week ago, and I was like, mate, do you know that report that I created back? I'm not sure if it's, if it's, is it still used? And if so, um, can you send me, like, the, the the Vega Light code? Because there's a part that I didn't. And I luckily, he's on Holly for like two weeks, but luckily I found it in some other random report that I created just for fun. It's this, Oh, my gosh. I love this idea that you have of basically, like, a blog post that's just a... Uh, a list yep. of stuff that is important to remember. How then that. if I ever need to write a blog, I just pull something from there and write about it. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I might steal that idea. You are I'll, more than welcome to. I'll credit yeah. you, don't worry. <laughs> On the blog post, no this, one's going to see. I'm yeah. so down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if somehow you stumble across this post that I have not published to the world. First of all, how did you find it, stalker? Um, but, you know, credit Christina. <laughs> amazing well and i should probably credit my dad then you know it was his idea he told me he goes you know you i go. only blog on stuff i don't want to forget and yeah. so that's kind of how i started blogging was on his uh data on wheels and Very so that's, cool. that's how like we it. got going i um you, you mentioned also before about when power automate is updated and you have to fix yeah. stuff or i realized so i i have no evidence of this but i still think it's true so one of my favorite things or one of the most important things that I've been doing recently is connecting Excel to Power BI data sets, right? Oh, okay. And um, because it was a whole thing, but I think it's an amazing functionality. And I'm actually... With like the analyze in Excel? Is that what you're right, talking about? Right, exactly. Or, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. So I actually, I'm creating a, a session on Sessionize just now. And the session is going to be called Power BI Developers Stop Complaining About People Asking for Your Data in Excel. That's, oh, that's just, beautiful. That, it might It'll never get, get accepted. accepted. Yeah. It should. It should. Yeah. Because I want to hear that. <laughs> because this connect, at the connect to the, you know, the, the, the connect here. So you connect to the Power BI data set. I absolutely love it. You know, pivot table, uh, whatever. Table, great. Um, but I was going to make a video for something about, about this at work. And my function to include not just pivot table, but also table, the option for table oh. just disappeared overnight. It was gone. Nothing changed. I checked all my company settings, everything. No. But also, interestingly, it happened for roughly half of my colleagues who I contacted. Also for them, it disappeared. 
And I was like, what? Very strange. This was like a week and a half this lasted. And then suddenly it just reappeared. Yeah. So I was like, oh. what's going Doesn't on? Doesn't that drive you nuts? Don't it you feel does. like you're going crazy? Yeah. Even more than that, it's never actually worked properly on my <laughs> own PC. And I don't what? know. I, my PC, the, the version was correct. My license is all fine. I have all the access to my, because it's my data, of course. I, I, and oh, then yeah. on the day it reappeared on my computer, on my work computer, it started working on my home computer. Oh. So Microsoft had done something, okay? They, yep. were do, they were doing something. They pulled that feature, they fixed it, it didn't, and then, they broke it, and then they refixed it. Yeah, yeah but not for everyone. So I- <laughs> Not for I, everyone? No, because for, half, because for half of my colleagues, it still worked. For half of my colleagues, it was still okay. It was only oh, literally. Oh, right. So I have no. So I have no. I can't say what I'm saying. It's some kind of. It's some kind of very, very uninteresting, nerdy conspiracy theory. Like I'm not sure if you read the news in the UK about Kate Middleton and the photographs <laughs> that's been edited. You know, like this. The, not yet, but now I have to look it up. You know. Um, what's what's Kate Middleton's husband called again? The next king or something? William oh, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, William. Yeah. Yeah. William's wife. There's this whole crazy Twitter conspiracy theory, kind of similar, like it was to Donald Trump's wife, that who she disappeared for. A while oh, okay. Similar that going on, and I'm making my own very nerdy niche one about uh, analyzing Excel with Power Up, BI. Up, updates. Yeah, I like yeah. it. It's infinitely yeah, less you interesting. Do, you could do one on Power Automate too, because I am a hundred percent convinced that's the same thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ridiculous, right? It Ridiculous. Is. They could at least tell us. Yes. Or give us an option to roll back. Like I, if you gave me an option to go back a version so I can continue developing while you fix that bug, totally yes. down. That's and they do that idea. in Power BI. You can roll back a version of the desktop if you encounter a you bug can. you're not okay with. Yeah. But you can't do it in any of the other ones because it's it's not it has no hardware for you to roll back. I was gonna say, I guess with Power Automate it's just all cloud based, right? Yeah, you just live in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Deal with it, basically. Is what yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's interesting. No, yeah. You know, one but, fun thing I did find out is you can actually save um this is this is for Donald and I guess everyone else. But if you save if you want to save Power Query scripts, you can save mm -hmm. them with the dot M. And then if you open them in like Visual Studio Code or in Sublime Text, it will do syntax highlighting for you. No. On Power Query. Yeah. On One M. second. Say that again because I need to get this. <laughs> yeah. If you save a file as a .m file mm -hmm. and then you open it in like a text editor, like Sublime is the one I like to use, but VS mm -hmm. Code I think has this too. Yeah. It will do syntax highlighting for you. That's so not you can actually see like the functions. You can yeah. see your notes. Like it is so nice. Yeah. Donald, I'm doing right. a session at Bits. Yeah. I'm doing a session on bits on um, making a date calendar. And so I was trying to figure out the best way to show M code without it being M code. And Interesting. So Sublime lets me zoom in on it too, which you can't do in That's VS really code. cool. Yeah. So interesting that you mentioned. By the way, you're saying so many things that just like make me think. Nah, I love this. It was really cool. <laughs> I'm I'm really trying not to hijack your thoughts. I'm trying my best to make them. I'm trying my best to make them relevant. I promise. It's really hard for me. I so, love it. I'm such a random person. So, um, date table talk. Uh -huh. I I've been thinking recently about because I um so Kratos so uh, Chris Wagner has this yeah. whole thing about no DAX columns, which I'm fully yes. on board with. My only exception exception to this and is a date table. He might get my Power BI license revoked for saying this. I know I do agree it's better to do it in Power Query. Mm -hmm. However, I think it's easier to make it dynamic in DAX. In a column? Because that to me, mm. to me, anytime it's at a column level, right? Mm -hmm. Like, to me, that can always be an M. But for sure, this is yeah. why Chris and I are friends, you know? He, if I had disagreed with him on that, he might be a little. I mean, generally speaking, you shouldn't have to create a date table with Power Query anyway. You should have to. That should that should ah, some, yeah. But you can. But, it should be upstream, but like. Yeah, exactly, but so yeah. for, what I'm talking about. Uh, but to, to go further on that point is this: I see loads of posts about creating um, DAX calendar tables, and again, I'm generally that's the only exception I have. My only thing that really irks me about this is that. All of the examples that I see, they always give static date values. 
They yes. always say 2018 to 2030. I'm like, what are you doing? Yep. Min and max. If you're gonna do it, min and max it. And like, it, it, it it's honestly one of those things that like just I get irrationally angry about. <laughs> because... I think that's rationally angry. Okay, fair enough. I, I will agree that. with you. That's very irrational because oh they're they're setting so people good. up for failure. You know. Yeah. So yeah. Why do you why do you want so many irrelevant dates in your date table? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Mine is fully dynamic. I use it in every report because I I have columns in there like is month to date, is week to date, mm. is current month to date, is current year to date. And I use yeah. that in all my measures to avoid yeah. more DAX. Yeah. Um Yeah. But, I, I think the thing that got me with the 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 date table, I remember quite early on in my I always say I always say things in a cheesy way because I talk like learning journeys, which always sounds cheesy to me, but I maintain <laughs> yeah. kind of makes sense. Learning journey. My yeah. Yeah, learning journey was that there was one video I watched quite a few years ago, of course, and it was how to do something oh, I forgot, or like how to set up something that was like um in the in the rolling seven days or rolling 20 days oh. or whatever it was and yep. it was this really complicated like dax thing and i'm like yeah. go up how query do an age column or something yes. or create a flag and yep. and i was that was my that was my realization that like really any data enhancement with power query is just the way to go it just makes things so much easier so it is this is why i will always prefer like yourself to do it in Power Query, but I will give someone the 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 out the grace the mm. grace yeah okay. I'll, I'll be I'll be kind enough to if I see a report and if I, if I see a report with calculate a column I'll it'll upset me if it's a calculate if it's a date table I'll I'll take I'll take it easy if it's a date table I send them my M script because <laughs> 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 fair enough yeah but my only thing with with calculated tables is mm. like. You know, anytime you're referencing that dimension, I mean, it's just going to slow everything down. Yeah, but, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's a day yeah. it's kind of important. Yeah. yeah. It's just one of those things, right? Like, we've all got our little things that we've got saved. And, like, if people are expressing dis dissatisfi dis dis dissatisfaction, dis dissatisfaction? Yes, dissatisfaction. We oh, got gosh. that together. Teamwork. That was good oh, stuff. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> If they're expressing that word, then, um, <laughs> then I, think, <laughs> I think that that's when I like to come in with something else because, you know, sometimes what works, works. Yeah. And if that's what they're confident in, I don't want to come in, especially as a consultant. I don't want to come in, hmm. change everything, and they're no longer feel like they can own their own product. Hmm. That, that's like the worst case scenario, right? Yeah. Like my job is to make their lives easier, make their lives better. And if I if they don't need me in a year, to me... And I'm not a salesperson. So like, to me, that's a great gig. Like I did yeah. my job, you know, um, difficult though. I mean, I, I've never been a consultant. I, I consider what a lot of what I do is like in-house consultancy, yeah. um, but yeah. I've never been a consultant per se, but I find it that the easy option is to change everything and to make it better. Right. Yeah. Because even though that's not sometimes easy, it's quite a hard task to go through all this stuff and create it. But yeah. the better option of this course is to kind of show them how to do. But then also, I'm like, I sometimes you don't have you time. Sometimes not just that. Also, like, how much do they care? Like, yeah. that's also oh, the thing. Oh, what a great point! Yeah, it's... there are definitely people you work with, and you're like, mm. this is a nine to five. Like, they don't. Yeah, which is totally reasonable. I mean, you know, it's yeah. not. It's not everyone. I mean, don't expect everyone to be as much as a nerd as I am. That would be like the world would be a terrifying place if that were true. It would be a great place, then. Oh great my god, place. you're so you're so amazing. But let let's say less interesting, shall we say? It would be uh, with these these Maybe, diverse, yeah, diverse personalities, would be more diverse interests, right? Right, like, exactly. That's always good. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I totally lost my train of thought, but it doesn't matter. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, come on, please. Oh no. I, I always talk about things in a very normal way. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> today, I realized that I didn't know how to do something in Power Query, and I got really upset about it because I was like, how do you not know how to do that? And honestly, I don't even know if it's possible or not. And I actually don't know if, if I should say this because I, I don't. Do you know what like, even like in, in DAX date difference, like date diff, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To do, I was like, how do you do that in Power Query over two different tables? Oh, yeah. You can't really over two different tables. Right. And yeah. that for me You'd was have to like merge it in, yeah. Exactly, which yeah. merging is 
it works, but I don't really like it's quite, it's not particularly performant. No. Right. So then no. the next, so then the option is, of course, to do it in DAX, but actually the best option is to do it. Upstream. Yes. Right. Upstream. Yeah. But you got access to that table, you know? You got, exactly. Right. But, and this is, yeah. and this is the, this is a really hard part. Like, it's great to say to people, you know, the, uh, the Roche's maximum for the upstream, but how many people are going to do that and how much how much faster is it to do it in dax my problem is if i do something in dax that should have been upstream i'm making more work for future me yeah totally like it, there will always come a point where i'm like i should have just done it should have yeah. just done it in sql completely yeah yeah no but, I, I i don't disagree don't get me wrong but it's just when you see people who it depends on that person's skill set as well you know yeah. like if they don't know how to do that what's faster to them but Again, this is why, you know, people like yourself or sometimes me as well, you'll get someone contacting you with a report and say, yeah. why is my report so slow? And you're like, oh, well. Yeah, that could be a lot of things, but uh, yeah. I can tell you some, some first ones. Yeah, some yeah, first exactly. steps. Here's, I've, I've just yeah. spied 150 calculator columns. Let's, let's, let's have a look at those. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, good. I've connected to um, reports before using the XML endpoint, and like, I've got a script that'll just list out everything for me and uh, dump it into Excel. And oh, my gosh, sometimes these models, you're like, hmm. Hmm. there are 1,600 columns in this one table. That is somehow a dimension, and you're like, you're not using all of these, I'm like sixteen hundred columns mm -hmm. in one table. What? That's yeah, it's brutal. Wild. Because they just they just like star, you know, they bring everything in. So, if it's not set up for a schema, or if they're not really getting a data warehouse environment, they're yeah. getting something structured, or Get it. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. their DBAs aren't quite used to that. You know, they mm. might be used to another tool like Tableau or mm. Burst or um, I don't know. Click mm. one of those, and a lot of those are. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> They're all made for that. So. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's I've I've never seen that many columns before. That's that that's special. I think. I will say some of it was because there were dates in it, and so they had mm. the auto date feature on, and the XMI endpoint can grab all of those columns and all yes. those hidden tables and display it for me too. Yes, fair enough. So still, it's. So some of that was from that, but still, still pretty impressive. Still pretty not impressive. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That's anything that's wider cool. than a hundred. I'm like, mm. honestly, yeah. even 20. I'm like, do you really even, I was going to, I was going to say you, when you said, when you said a hundred, I was like, okay, am I being like real strict here? Because I would maybe 30, I could tell, no, they tolerate it makes you sound like a really like, I'm like, I tolerate this. Now. <laughs> Understand, <laughs> like shall we say is a better word. How <laughs> yeah. dare you? This travesty of a report. I do not tolerate this. Take it away. <laughs> Off with the head. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, crazy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. But these, I, I really do enjoy. Like, though it's hard work, I really. This is the part of the job that I really enjoy most. Is like the the problem solving, troubleshooting type stuff. Yeah. And this is going back to the literally probably the only question I've asked you in the forty five minutes we've been <laughs> we've been talking. Like, what's your job? And then we just started talking for forty five minutes. <laughs> um that's because we're was, nerds <laughs> yeah exactly we're the best ones we know that um yeah. that must be very satisfying you though right just to have it, to go through all this stuff and just keep it and it also keeps it interesting as well right yes oh my gosh i don't think i can go back we'll see if i ever go back to just working at one company but mm. man i love i love working for like five or six at a time yeah like nice. just being able to solve that many different problems if you're getting roadblocked on something you have another thing to work on that's so important. It is so nice. Yeah. 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 It's only crazy sometimes. Like, of course, there's going to be weeks where it's like, yeah, everybody needs all of my time this week. That's not going to happen. So now I got to figure out, like, who can get pushed to next week? Or can I make, like, one little thing to help mm. this person? Mm -hmm. And it'll only take me an hour. It's not everything they wanted, but it mm. unblocks them, you know? Yeah. But. No, it's, I... I mean, I see it myself sometimes. I've had occasions, not that often. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah. thank you, Donald. That's very kind. <laughs> if, Don if Donald was your boss, maybe he, he would allow this. I'm not sure. There you go. Oh, it would be nice. Yeah. yeah. But I've had these occasions, not frequently, but I I'm only working on like one project. And it's I find that very annoying because oh. I need. And it got to the point where I'm like, is it, is it 
is this something, is it me? Is, is this like a diagnosable thing that I need to jump around from thing to thing because I'm getting bored of this and I need to do a little bit of that? Yep. Um, it's like my, I don't know, I, I don't know, there is no analogy, maybe it doesn't need to be one. It's just and my brain needs to jump from this to this to kind of keep it interesting. Entertained, you know? yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, I'm with you. I So it's actually funny you say it. So when I was in preschool, right, I went to the small preschool and I'm the oldest child. So my parents were like trying to figure things out. Mm, yeah. so they brought me there. My teacher had flat out told them, she goes, you cannot homeschool this girl and you cannot send her to private school. She needs a lot of people. She needs to be able to hop around different people groups constantly. So That's my mom has always told me that. So she's like, you know, you can't say you're going to have one hobby. You're going to need four or five that you can hop around in yeah. like just don't limit yourself or don't feel bad about being not a total expert on something because you wanted to learn more things mm. like or you wanted to meet more people like yeah 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 i get it wow that's great yeah. that's yeah. really interesting so i think you're probably the same way ben you know like just don't limit yourself but yeah. interesting that you mentioned because especially with hobbies that i always up until i was i would honestly say in my early 30s I really always judge myself for never actually having a hobby. Yeah. I, I I always found myself quite, um, I would judge, I was like, okay, am I quite uninteresting? Because if someone said, what's your hobby? I'd be like, I don't know, I kind of like doing, but, and I really, when I started my more professional career and I started working with data, I, it feel, once I'm trying that again, that's better. I felt like oh. it, it activated something. And I had this interest. I started like, oh, I like started doing some photography with this, and I started like doing oh, yeah. like instruments, and then I started doing like I guess it's not so much hope, but like like interest in like three D printing, and then there was always cool. something. And I feel uh, maybe my brain was making up for the wasted twenties. I'm not sure, or also the wasted teens. But like, I just wanted to be with like be with my friends and socialize, you know? Yeah, yeah. And maybe because I became more of a hermit, and <laughs> I, I don't know, but it was a really strange kind of like. Changed my personality. It's, I don't know how it came when about. When COVID hit, I got hobbies. So I, I completely yeah. agree with you. It's yeah, like, true. before then, it was like I would work and sometimes I work like 16 hour days, you know, whatever mm. I had to do. Mm. And then it was just hanging out with people. So yeah. when COVID hit, I started doing things. But yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I think for with, with, fun. with COVID, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, with the COVID, I, I used to go take photographs of like amateur football in Berlin. I had like website oh. and like an emag and stuff and did a podcast wow. about it. Yeah, it was really, it was me and like three other, um, three other people. It was really good fun. Uh, actually, the person who did the um, the artwork for the 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 emag is the same person who did the my little mini me person. My little... Oh, no way. Yeah, she's, she's called Colotta oh, Klee. Awesome. She, she does, she's really good. She's just amazing um, artwork. Um, but I couldn't do that anymore because of COVID. There was no sport being played, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then other things. But I, I also, I think sometimes that learning Power BI, because obviously I didn't study anything related to this. Like, so if I did like history and politics and I just got into oh, it. Oh, I and, love that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's so random. I was had a, um, someone from my uh, company, we did an on-site and we're talking about our backgrounds and stuff. And this person speaking, he studied theology. And then he now works with data. I was like, no way. That's a new one. I've never heard theology before. You know, it's funny. So my dad is an MVP too. And he, uh, really? so he does Fabric cool. 5 videos on Data on Wheels. So he has um, he does five minute videos. And That's yeah, cool. so pretty awesome. Check yeah. it out, you know. But he uh, he studied theology as well. So no he actually, um, my name is spelled the way it was, or it mm. is, because they were going to go to the Czech Republic and be missionaries. So they were there for like a year and a half, and then they came back to the states, had me, and then never went back. So <laughs> they, yeah, that's amazing. So, there you go. Now there's two that you know in IT. <laughs> I love that, and also like uh, it's one of those moments where we're like, oh, should I ask? I'm not sure. I was curious about the spelling of your name because it seemed like you know, yeah, Eastern it's European. Weird. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not American. Yeah. Awesome. That's a great story. I love that. <laughs> also, I didn't. I'm, you know, is I generally, um, that's, yeah, exactly. It is a cool story. Um, <laughs> I usually before I do these live streams, I will like try my best to like jump online and Google the person's name. And I literally had no time this week, so oh I my feel, gosh, Ben, you're fine. But yeah. you're so you're, you're you're. I probably would have found this out myself. Your dad is an MVP, and and he does these five. You said what? What's the videos called? Data Fabric on Wheels. Five. Fabric yeah. Five. So Data on Wheels is our channel. 
Okay. Um, yeah, and we, yeah, actually, the blog I write on mm -hmm. was his. So he had that okay. blog since like 2010, and mm -hmm. so I joined it in 2019. Mm -hmm. And so we've been kind of writing and stuff. But actually, I grew up going to Sequel Saturdays and stuff with him. So it's kind of fun. I actually that I thought so I would never cool. be in data. And then when it happened, it was just kind of fun that we both were here, you know, so. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. well, that's cool. You must be very proud. Yeah, oh, new MVP. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Love it. It's Love pretty it. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, wonder, I, would, I wonder how many other, like, family MVP situations there are. I was talking to um, Betsy Weber, who is in the program, and mm -hmm. she was saying, I think there's one other father-daughter team. I think. Okay. Okay. Or there was for a while, but still pretty cool i'm yeah, down you know of course. yeah yeah it's very nice <laughs> it's like when you have those stories about like the um father son or whatever or two brothers playing in the same right. sports team like there are these two american football players who played against each other in the super bowl or something yeah the yeah. kelsey kelsey brothers yeah, yeah of course i know about them because of taylor swift obviously well yeah that's why most people know that's why they're right. relevant honestly yeah, you know exactly just some 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 <laughs> some, some otherwise be some random dude dating taylor swift because it, he plays <laughs> some sport and okay now i know about it as well but yeah 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 and he's Not pretty bad. cool i mean they have their own podcast apparently so it's good too it's as well yeah oh my all good the for them have a podcast right yeah right <laughs> one second what's this what's donaldson i got my kid to make one pub really that's cool <laughs> <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> my only interaction thus far with my kids and power they're quite young to be fair they're still 10 and 7 i showed my, oh. my daughter power bi about a year year and a half ago actually yes it was further it was during lockdown and i was showing out what i was doing and stuff and, and i was like oh this is what i'm doing and she, was, oh, she was okay and i was like you think it's cool she was like no and just walked off and i was like that's brutal absolutely brutal <laughs> oh no yeah yeah that's how my husband is. I love yeah. him, but he yeah. does not care, you know. Sometimes that's good though, because otherwise it gets too much. Like my wife works with Pavia yeah. sometimes, and it's like, I said, I, there are situations where sometimes, once it was like half past six in the morning, we wake up to get the kids ready for school because they, they start like quite early. Mm -hmm. Wake up and I'm tired, and like the she just opens her eyes, she looks at me, and she was like, "If you have two tables," I'm like, "No, <laughs> no." Not even a good morning, no. mind. Not even a good morning. And I forget when it was. It was like another randomly inconvenient time. Like a week. I think I'd just gone back. For, it was like one o'clock in the morning. I'd just gotten back from, I was in Utrecht for um, a, a conference. Wow. And um, she was like, if I have, if I need to create a column, should I do it in DAX or should I do it with Power Query? I'm like, first of all, Power Query. Second of all, no. <laughs> That's, can we just... <laughs> Check them all. Good morning to you too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, Hello, how are you? <laughs> uh, oh no, mine has only had to put up with me. Like, if I'm stressed about something at work, hmm. I will. I'll dream about it and I'll talk in my sleep, and then I will wake up at like four in the morning with a solution, and I will. Hmm. I will go to my laptop and put it in because Definitely. I won't be able to fall back asleep. Yeah. You know, I'll just be thinking about it. And if you do, you wake up and you forgot it again. Oh, that's this worse. Is, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I hate it when you know that you have something or when you're the classic thing, of course, where you're working on a problem all day and you walk away from the computer to I don't know, walk a dog or do what you have, you have, you have to do. Oh. And then all of a sudden it comes to you, right? Yes. You and you're like, I take a break sooner. Like yeah. I should have just taken a break. Yeah. yeah. Or always, I mean, I guess also like this is, I was going to say always carry a laptop with you, but I, I suppose you could write it down <laughs> no. on a telephone machine. Um, do you ever just like re repeat it to yourself over and over oh, again yeah, on the Wi-Fi? Oh yeah, Absolutely. I was, I scared one of my neighbors once because I was walking the dog and I was always coming back into like where our apartment is, this area. I think I really quite loudly shouted like, that's it or something because I worked it <laughs> out and it was just all came in that one moment. It was Aww. just, and I really, I did exclaim like quite a lot and the neighbor looking at that was some kind of psychopath, which is quite accurate in some way, to be honest. Um, well, yeah, but I didn't care because it was, it was then. important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my wow. God. Good time. At some so, point you're sprinting back home, right? You're like, I, was, I got it. I'm ready. The, I was making the dog run just to get back. And which was interesting because at the time the, the dog was still a tiny puppy and it's like a, a dachshund. Oh, it, oh my gosh. A, a tiny dachshund. It was a little tiny. I'm like, faster, small dog. Pick it up, carry it. Yeah. Oh, cute. Did oh, you see yeah. I in a cube? I'm on puppies now. I'm sorry. I did. You see the puppies? Oh I did. I want. If one. anyone needs puppies, reach out to Guy in a Cube on Twitter. 
they rescued a bunch and they are super cute they are really cute and i like i forget um what's um what adam's wife um called again is it christine crystal? Chris, yeah christine isn't it crystal no oh gosh chatmaster c is his wife exactly chatmaster that c, is... that's, that's the official name right yeah, so, I, anyway, I think it's Crystal or or Christine. It's one of those. You're right. Apologize. I mean, she'll always never see this, but apologies anyway for not knowing your name. Um, the the. I'll have to ask on Saturday. Like, this, All right. It's just she's just like the 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 the, the secret um, hidden member of the of the kind of cute team. I mean, she's doing all that work with, on yeah. the on Chatmaster. So the anyway, yeah. Christine or or Crystal, she said that she should that they should take the dogs with them to this fabric conference, which is in Vegas oh. or something. Definitely. A puppy but the corner. Trick is, a lot of people, oh, a puppy corner would be awesome. You know, I think they're doing that at Sequel Bits. There's what? rumors. There's rumors they're doing puppy corner. Mm -hmm. oh, I actually really want to. I'm not going. Crystal Saxon, Crystal. thank you so well, much. You were right, Ben. You were right all along. Should have never doubted you. Had to have an adventure. Thank you, right? Chewy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, think, I mean, honestly, I really want to go to Sequel Bits. I'm not going because of like, I just didn't have time, but. That's okay. Yeah. And but next puppies, year, if there are puppies, I'm gonna send you pictures. But I ready. mean, puppies and an amazing talk about data tables with them. So it's only 20 minutes. It's gonna be a crazy session. Amazing like, 20 minutes. I've got 168 lines of code to go through in 20 minutes. It's gonna what? Be amazing. That's brave. I have mm -hmm. respect you so much. I have one slide, cool. and and then that's it. That is the perfect presentation. <laughs> I always feel. So I I only started doing in person talks a few months ago and I've done like I think oh, five. Congrats. So far. Yeah, it's it's really good. I love it. That's um, awesome. But I always actually this is also true when I do the did the remote ones. They always say, "Oh, send us your slides," and I'm like, "You don't need my slides, man, because they're just no. they're, they're right just prompts for me to talk." To be honest. Yeah. Um. So I never. I always put them in like a GitHub, and I have a QR code on the slides so they can get a link. That makes perfect sense, but I tell you this: I've no, I'm so bad at self promotion that I, <laughs> I will basically forget to. I'll put QR codes to random stuff, but I will forget to put QR codes to my own stuff. I just forget. No. My last one I did was in Utrecht, and it was about data visualization using Deneb, and it was called um, "Goodbye Visual Shite, Hello Vega Light." Okay. Oh, I like yeah. that. And in the in the the details, there was this word. Um, Pilkunusia, like you will become a data pilkunusia, which is a Finnish word. And it's the Finnish word for someone who's very obsessed with grammar. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, yeah. It, it actually literally translates to um to comma fucker, actually. So I <laughs> I I put the QR code so I didn't have to say it myself. So people could just scan it. People was like scanning and laughing because they would bring up this like <laughs> this description i put that in but i didn't put a qr code for my own work i mean seriously sometimes like then sort yourself out man it's it's crazy but yeah, yeah. anyway good fun good fun um a couple of things we're over an hour so i'm gonna i'm gonna let you go in one minute all right it wow. goes by crazy quickly so yeah i haven't mentioned this and i i'm a little bit freaked out and i, and I don't know why this live stream and i never mentioned this because i don't i don't care this live stream has infinitely more viewers than I've ever had before. And I'm trying to work out why. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. For, for, for you, I'm sure they're all here for you, for, for sure, which is very oh my awesome. Gosh. But, um, but Ben, you is... know what that means is we got to talk more often. We got to be- I agree. We got to be better friends here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> not, not just for the numbers, just for, just for also you, the, the fantastic no, personality, because. you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a good time. No, I I, I absolutely loved being here with you. So I'm glad other people are enjoying it too. That's always a win. It is. So. Everyone, everyone's happy. Um, yeah. I will say, exactly, it is because I'm saying this, you guys this is are... it's, it's cause of, cause of our friends coming up. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. All, all for you. Um, thank you for taking your time out of your MVP summit, it's called, yeah, MVP conference, and skipping a session and. Um, Doing your best not to reveal any any NDA secrets other than sandwiches. I think you did okay. You, you did know, a fantastic job. First time I job. have NDA secrets to share, and yeah. I did. Yeah, awesome. Ten out of ten. Love it. <laughs> and um, thank you, of course, as ever, for everyone in the chat. I forgot to say one thing. I really, I'm approaching 100 live streams, and I really need ideas 
for uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of something cool to make it like a bit special you know and i can't think of anything oh. so if anyone has an idea feel free to dm me or or, or, or at me on twitter or something it's too much to do. could you do 100 minutes is a little too long i'd say like a 100 minute live stream and then okay. have different people pop in at random points you know like that could, that could, could be get, very cool yeah i yeah, like that if you could eat like one minute of like guy in a cube you know like <laughs> That'd be so exactly. cool, right? Like I would definitely. And just to, for your first point, is a hundred minutes okay? I think we've established me and you in this call that we talking for one hundred minutes is like easy. No worries <laughs> at all. It'll be random. I think so fun. Yeah. It'll be a hundred yeah. minutes for sure. Ben, bring. But I was thinking, like, basically, try and get everyone who's been on the show to come back for like a little bit of time or something. Yeah, oh yeah. Cool. Or you yeah. could even do like, um, if you. I mean, yeah reach out to the 100 people and then if you don't get returns from like enough people just find snippets of the conversation like random like yeah or random faces they make throughout like i think that'd be so fun yeah. actually and this is what i was thinking as well like um yeah jack's in here so you get all the jokes together i was thinking <laughs> i was like should i make it like a clip show of just making up all the past ones but you know what i don't like clip shows so much yeah do you want to watch a tv show and it's like oh here's a, a, a i'm like no i'm not into that i'll always skip no. that episode so i think um so i could include some clips maybe yes like welcome I remember you when totally could. and when this happens and you could dress in like a random like fake tux or something or um like celebrate it kind of like new year's it's like a countdown to the hundred so you're kind of like promoting it and then um yeah and you yeah. could even make it like a i don't know if you did end up needing to do clips or something, you can make yeah. it a tournament style like they do in like America's Funniest Home Video. I like it. Where they're yeah. like counting down to the funniest thing or something. I don't know. This would also work well if you're going to go on this this concept of treating like New Year's, have to have the clips towards the end, by which point I'm just drunk and I can't really talk yeah. anymore. So it just the clips take over. Oh, if you did a drinking game for it, I don't know if people are down for that, but I think that'd be kind of fun. I don't know. I don't know what time zone you're in, you know, like maybe for it's five o'clock there. I don't know. For me, it's 10 o'clock at night. So it's, it's, oh. it's perfect. It's, it's definite drinking time. Um, <laughs> the, the, the sad thing is I really don't drink much anymore. So I'd be like one oh. shot and I'd be like, I'm asleep now. That's not yeah. sad. You're fine, Ben. You're totally yeah, fine. Yeah, and you yeah. know what? It's one of those things where, um, New Year's just always makes me think of it, you know, but I get it. that's yeah. just, that's just cause it's New Year's, you know, exactly. All the rules. Um, are the reservations anyway, don't start till the second yeah true story true story <laughs> i'm gonna let it go for, for sure this time i'm gonna not gonna bring up new, a, new, a new topic i promise thank you so much for joining christina everyone in the chat thank you so much for joining as well it's been a pleasure a lot of fun i will yeah. be back next week i think i can't remember i don't know i think Exciting. i am and um, if not i'll see you at some other point in the future goodbye Bye.